Matthew and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing good. Today I just wanted to uh, talk to you about why faith in Jesus Christ is the main thing and not theology, not biblical doctrines and divisions. And as believers, uh, we are united by our faith in our one Lord Jesus Christ, saved by his grace. You know, in Ephesians 2 it says we are saved by grace. So his grace is the main thing, right? Our salvation is the main thing. Obviously, the secondary things, you know, they have importance to some extent, but, you know, we are called to be united in the simplicity of Christ. In Ephesians 4, it says, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit. You know, that's one body, the body of Christ. We are all one. You know, as believers, we are all one. You know, we are all the body of Christ. And we are all united by the same Spirit that lives in us, the Holy Spirit. Just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Um, you know, we have one Lord Jesus. Uh, we are saved by our Lord Jesus Christ. We have one faith, and that faith is in Jesus. It's not faith in doctrines that save us. It's not faith in a specific church or pastor that saves us. Uh, we have one baptism. We are all baptized into Christ. You know, we are not baptized into certain denominations. And we have one God and Father of all. I mean, he, God is our Father. He's the Father of every child of God. He's every, every Christian can call God Father, uh, just like Jesus calls Him Father. And He is over all of us and through all of us and in all of us, right? Again, you know, this is not universalism, right? Uh, God the Father is, you know, here the context here is about believers. The believers are united together, not the unbelievers. God is not the father of unbelievers. God is not all in all through all unbelievers. He's not, you know, that's not what he's talking about. He, the, the, the unity is of the faith. There's one faith. I mean, this is all about the body of Christ, one body, you know, one spirit. This is all about the church. So he's talking about Christians here, about believers, how God the Father is in all of us, believers. But, we have many theological viewpoints based on the Bible, right? Based on our own interpretation of the Bible. It's not like the Bible gives you, uh, gives us all these different theologies. It's just that we as, uh, you know, imperfect human beings, we take the Bible in, in our own understanding. And that's why we have, you know, so many d divisions like Calvinism versus Arminianism, Catholic versus Protestant, and the many denominations within the Protestants, and then you know, believers' baptism versus infant baptism, futurism versus preterism, our millennialism versus premillennialism versus postmillennialism, you know, trini trinity versus unitarianism, post-tribulation versus mid-tribulation, pre-tribulation rapture, some people don't believe in rapture, charismatic versus cessationism, etc., etc. I mean, I, I can go on and on, but my point is, you know, I'm not trying to denigrate these beliefs, you know, people... You know, we should respect everybody's beliefs, but that's not what unites us, right? What is what unites us is faith in Jesus Christ. One Lord, one faith, one body, one spirit, one God, one Father, one baptism. Uh, you know, many of these doctrines are not 100 perfect because they all have pros and cons. And if you, you know, that's why you have divisions, right? You know, if we all had that one perfect doctrine, we would not have divisions. But... We have divisions because these conflicting doctrines are not 100% perfect, perfect. They have pros and cons. I mean, if you're honest with yourself, you know, when I've, I've been through many of these doctrines, you know, I've held very tightly to many of these doctrines, and I would change my mind later because, you know, I'd find some problem with it, and I'd find some other doctrine that would be better, at least it would appear better. But what we should do is that we should never condemn one another. Because the only thing that saves us is faith in Jesus Christ, not our doctrine. All these um, Christian doctrines, like I mentioned, they are debatable. They're not 100% certain. They're not 100% perfect. <clears throat> but the only perfect and undebatable fact is the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, you know, I've believed in many different doctrines, but the grace of our Lord Jesus has kept me in the faith. I'll be honest. At times, I've struggled with my faith due to these doctrines you know the divisions over these doctrines has almost destroyed my faith so that is why I, i'm you know i've learned now not to hold tightly to these 
debatable doctrines, but hold tightly to the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's the main thing. As Paul himself said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Every other theology is secondary. Compared to the cross and resurrection of Jesus, everything is secondary. The main thing is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. You know, in Paul's time, the topic of circumcision and the law of Moses was a major division between Jewish and Gentile believers. But Paul said this, that faith in Christ is the main thing and that we love one another. If you read in Galatians 5, verse 6, he says, For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. Now, we can rephrase this verse for today. For in Jesus Christ, neither Calvinism nor Arminianism or Catholic or Protestant or Republican or Democrat or Preterist or Futurist Premillennial or dispensational or Baptist or Lutheran or amillennial, postmillennial or pre-trib, post-trib or mid-trib or covenantal or trinitarian or unitarian or any ism has any value. The only thing that counts is faith in Jesus expressing itself through love. So, you know, this is what I have to tell myself all the time that we should not condemn others but accept our fellow believers as long as they believe in Jesus Christ. That's the main thing. That is our, the thing that unites us. And let us not focus on the thing that divides us. In Romans 14, Paul writes above, he said, Accept the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters. You know, all these doctrines that we have, they are disputable matters, they are debatable matters. But you, you cannot debate about you know, as a Christian, you, you won't debate about Jesus Christ being the Son of God or, you know, His death and resurrection. There's no debate about that. But don't debate over these other, don't quarrel over these debatable, other, you know, the other debatable things. Like, for example, in Paul's time, one person's faith allows them to eat anything. But another whose faith is weak only eats vegetables. The one who eats everything must not treat with contempt the one who does not. And the one who does not eat everything must not judge the one who does. For God has accepted them. Who are you to judge someone else's servant? To their own master, servants stand or fall, and they will stand, for the Lord is able to make them stand. See, that's that's a beautiful thing, right? Eventually, it's all the grace of God. We are saved by the grace of our Lord Jesus, not based on anything we do, not based on these doctrines. So if, if we are not saved on these doctrines, then, then why do you judge others based on their doctrines? You know, why do people judge one another? One person considers one day more sacred than another. Another considers every day alike. Each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind. Whoever regards one day as special does so to the Lord. Whoever eats meat does so to the Lord. For they give thanks to God. And whoever abstains does so to the Lord and gives thanks to God. For none of us lives for ourselves alone. And none of us dies for ourselves alone. If we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this reason, Christ died and returned to life so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. You then, why do you judge your brother or sister? Why do you treat them in contempt? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. So then each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of a brother or sister. So whatever, whatever you believe about these things, keep between yourself and God. Blessed is the one who does not condemn himself by what he approves. Now, my friend, this is the, the thing. If you read this, the main thing is the grace of God. And the main thing is that we belong to Jesus. You know, we don't judge one another. You know, our faith in Jesus is the main thing. And whatever debatable doctrine, you know, we keep it to ourselves. We don't need to argue and debate with others. Uh, we don't need to condemn one another. Because eventually it's all about Jesus. It's all about his finished work. It's all about his grace. All right, my friends, I hope this video blesses you. Um, please give a like and subscribe and hope to see you later. God bless you. Thanks.